You see the title. Let's talk about it. Prime Tendo. What is going on, people? DJ App here, and yet again, we're checking out Captain Plugins here by Mixed in Keys. The link will be in the description box. And yes, you can make your own MIDI packs with it as well. Uh, one of the main things that I want to point out that I'm going to do in this video is show you how to use it and then further utilize it so that you can make your own MIDI packs. So with that being said, the link will be in the description box and there will be a code on the screen right here. Yeah, right here. That will give you an extra percentage off. So make sure that you use that and please believe it. You want to hear my rant at the end. Let's begin. If this is your first time checking out the Captain plugins, I actually done a video on them before and it will be linked in the description box. It has a little more detail than this video will be because I want to go ahead and show people just, you know, how simple it is to make like mini packs and just sell them or whatever to anybody and actually have some pretty decent ones or whatever. So I just started up Captain Chorus because we want to go with chord progressions. Uh, what I'm going to do here is pick out something. I'll pick out like an E minor, I guess. It's something real easy. You can always do random. And we're starting up the Captain uh, Chorus right here. And what I want to do is this right here. So just go ahead and play what I have so far. So I'm going to drop the BPM to something a little easier on the ear or just slower. Um, and you can hear that it starts off with a pretty nice piano string sound. Uh, you can choose different sounds too as well. Uh, but we want to be as comfortable as possible uh, while we're doing this. So, you know, I can I can pick out a whole bunch of sounds from keys to leads, the pads. Let's go in here with the op pads. Even strings too. And we'll go a little further into that a little later. But uh, now, yeah, we have a nice little canvas to paint with. Uh, you see it has one progression here or just one chord. Uh, you can choose from a myriad amount of chord progressions up top. So, you know, if we want something like that, uh, what I'm gonna do is turn up the volume just a little bit because it's a little. And you can hear what you got. And you can explore what you want. You can have com a higher complexity. And you have something to start with. Maybe you don't want the same things going on or you wanna switch out chords. Uh, you can do that very simply on the fly making it a little easier on you. Uh, I actually kind of like that beginning, so I'll go with C major here. All right, so let's go with that. Uh, we'll change this chord out. Yeah, so you can write some pretty dark or light melodies or whatnot, you know, the minor uh, chords or whatnot, or at least the E minor is, is a very darkish chord. So uh, you also can change the timing too as well. Uh, it's like custom timing, but I can just choose anything from uh, fast changes to normal changes to slow changes. You know, perhaps I want to go ahead and just do fast changes. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do that while we're building our chords. And it's kind of off hinge, and that's kind of the thing I don't want to do. Uh, say if you don't want to do that, well, guess what? You have an undo button, so you can go back. So you can walk it back a little bit, and then start with something else. Go with normal changes, and let's go to origins here. Now we see it's a little problematic because. It's only at like 3.3 uh, bars instead of being at like four bars or five bars. So we can go ahead and walk that forward here all the way to the fifth bar. 
then certain things might be a little bit more problematic. You also can add chords in between, uh, but I don't want to add chords in between, so that's why the undo button is there. And then I can just go ahead and just change that, of course. And you can also record something in there, record rhythm in this area, and then And you could do the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna hit got it, uh, hit done, and we're good to go. Uh, I can just record the whole entire thing here. So if I wanted to write like a horror film type vibe, well, guess what? Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You can do play. You can switch in between uh, your MIDI keyboard or your computer keyboard. So, you know, if you want to play on your computer keyboard, And it all fits into that scale that you picked out. So that's the cool thing about it. So moving on, uh, you can do other things too. Uh, well, let's go back into the verse. You can also write pre-choruses, choruses, drops, and so forth. But uh, we're going to keep it on verse, you know, because, you know, we just want some ongoing melody. Uh, you can choose how much space you want. You can have original space, some space, a little bit of space. And you can also choose to strum it if you're doing like a type of guitar progression or some sorts uh, you can do swing to as well and you know you can also undo it just in case you don't like anything Boop, and you're good to go you can also add your own vst plugin inside of here there is another way to do that depending on which daw you have perhaps i want to use an atria plugin i can use an atria plugin or whatever plugin that i've scanned inside of here that will work so let's choose dx7 boom DX7 is in here. The DX7 plugin pulls up, and then let's go ahead and hear it. Maybe that's not what's popping. Uh, you can always go into something different from pads and, and whatnot and sequences. Let's go ahead and hear some of the sequences. I don't know how it'll sound like, so <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't kill me. So that's not completely horrible. Uh, I've heard better, but no, it's not completely horrible. Uh, you can do that, or you could just go ahead and, oh, if, by the way, you can also choose to show your plugin again, just in case you closed it or whatever, and then you can go on about your business. So we like what we heard. Let's go ahead and drag that over, but we need something to kind of fill out the, the meat of that. So I have my MIDI file dragged over, and you can see it in the MIDI track that it matches or whatnot. And then you can further change it from there if that's your steez, the way you want to work. And then let's go ahead and get something extra here. So I'm going to hit Control Shift T in uh, Ableton Live 11 or Ableton Live altogether. I believe that's the main shortcut. And let's go and pull up Captain Play. I'll pull it up in this MIDI track right here. Boom. And now you can see it's locked in here. And now we can create some pretty cool MIDI. Uh, some under melodies, counter melodies, as you guys call them, you youngsters. And hit go. I'm going to choose melodies, of course. And now I can play different melodies on my keys. So I would just record them in. Go from here, drag your MIDI in there, and then we have something else to go with. Boom. So I just have something here. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Shift T. I uh, get another MIDI track. Boom. Here we are. And you can continue to work with Captain Plugins and see what else you can come up with. Just pull up Captain Plugins and then just mess with some of the complexity, the octave. And if you don't like anything else, you can always change the, the 
the progression itself and Now you see why I don't use a damn midi pack. No point. So, tell me how you feel about this video, guys. I definitely want to hear from you in the comment section. Yeah, so is it a very good tool? Because I try to focus on doing reviews on stuff that is useful, though I should do more reviews on negative stuff so that you guys can see that I'm not about clout chasing or anything like that, or just trying to sell you on things that, hey, I make some money off of it. No, that's not the case. And I even fell back with that uh, on the VST plugin reviews, though people want me to do plugin reviews. I'm not a DAW type guy, but nonetheless, uh, let's get into it. So yeah, the Unison Audio MIDI Pack. It's something that I've talked about negatively on this channel for this very reason, because of tools like this, like Captain Plugins that give you an infinite amount of ways to create new melodies and harmonies, also chord progressions. Not just a pack that's full of chord progressions that have existed since forever, and there's plenty of tools out there like Captain Plugins that overshines that. Now, do I have to get into it with Unison Audio on this video? Absolutely not. But I find it very predatorial every single time that I <laughs> go to YouTube and I'm not even watching a music video I see a influencer, quote unquote, trying to tell you guys that this MIDI pack is phenomenal and it's not. Like, it's not. Like, come on, guys. They're even attacking people that know better than that. And yeah, that's kind of off topic to what this is. But nonetheless, Captain Plugins will be the superior choice. Hell, there's other tools out there that I've talked about on this channel that are far more superior than a MIDI pack because all you're getting is the same freaking stuff. Everybody gets the access to the same stuff, so therefore it creates the biggest problem right now with music in that it, everything sounds basically the same. So yeah, I would rather somebody hire a keyboardist or somebody that plays the keys than freaking use that MIDI pack. But at least with Captain Plugins, you can fake the funk and it holds your hand enough to where you can create something brand new. And if that makes more sense to you, what I'm explaining, then it should. I don't know guys, just let me know how you feel in the comments.